The world has yet to see what God can do with a man who is fully consecrated unto Jesus Christ. An English preacher named Henry Varley said those words to me many years ago, and I tried my best to be that man. Let me tell you a story. I was preaching in my church in Chicago, and I did a series on the life of Jesus Christ. Oh, I love to preach about Jesus Christ. I started the series, and I preached about his birth. I preached about his childhood. I preached about him choosing his disciples. I preached about how he healed the sick, raised the dead, and opened the eyes of the blind. It was in the fall of the year. I came down to where I was preaching from Matthew chapter 27 and verse 22, which says, Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do with Jesus, which is called Christ? And they all say unto him, Let him be crucified. The crowd was getting restless that night. There was a commotion going on outside the church. And I said to the people, you have been faithful to come all these weeks during this series. I'm not going to give you an invitation tonight. But I want you to go home. And I want you to think about that question that Pilate said. What shall I do with Jesus, which is called Christ? Now you can go home. That night was October the 8th, 1871. And I turned 2,000 people out into the great Chicago fire. When I stepped out of the church, it was like I stepped into hell itself. Women were screaming for their children. Fathers were gathering their families together. Horses were running wild in the streets. And the flame and the sound of the fire sounded like a freight train roaring through the city. I got my family out to the outskirts in a safe place and I went back into the city to see what I could do. But you couldn't do anything. The heat and the smoke were too great. I made my way over to Lake Michigan to the shoreline. And I stood there that night and I watched as Chicago burned to the ground. The next day, when I was able to go into the city, I went by the YMCA building that I built. It was gone. I went by Farwell Hall. Gone. I went back to the church. It was gone. And I made my way through the rubble of that church and I stood where the pulpit was and I said, Oh God, I wish I could have those 2,000 people here one more time so I can ask them what they would do with Jesus Christ. Some of those people I never saw anymore. I made a holy vow to God that day that I would never preach the gospel without giving folks an invitation to come to Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I'm here tonight to tell you something. You are going to make a decision what you do with Jesus Christ. You are either going to accept him or you're going to reject him. You're either going to say, Lord, thy will be done, or you're going to say, Lord, my will be done. Now I ask you a question tonight. Will you be the one that the world would finally see with a life that's totally surrendered to Jesus Christ?